Another development in the court battle over the so-called abortion pill, Mifeprestone. The Supreme Court justices have now until Friday to decide on restrictions for that drug. Channel 2 Samantha Manning joins us from Washington, D.C. with the latest from the high court. The Supreme Court can decide to either uphold the restrictions or lift them. If the ruling does stay in place, it would make it very difficult for a woman to access that abortion pill. This stems from a case in Texas where a judge pulled FDA approval of the drug. It then moved to another lower court, which allowed Mifepristone to still be used with severe restrictions. That's the ruling the Supreme Court justices are now weighing. This debate is about freedom and privacy. We don't want a Texas judge in our bedrooms telling us what to do. Today, Democrats in Congress called on the Supreme Court to protect access to the pill. Medication abortions account for more than half of all abortions across the country. If the justices uphold the lower court's decision, it will severely restrict access to Mifepristone. This comes less than a year after the U.S. Supreme Court struck down Roe v. Wade, stripping the federal protection for abortion. Since then, many Republican-led states have passed new abortion restrictions, including in Florida. We must not lose sight of the fact that abortion takes a human life. Republicans in Congress, like South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham, have also been pushing for nationwide abortion restrictions. Democrats, meanwhile, caution this ruling could impact access to other medications, too. This disastrous decision not only threatens to deny millions of women access to the care they need, but it also threatens to upend our nation's entire drug approval process. I'm Samantha Manning reporting from the Washington News Bureau. And the abortion pill is still legal in Georgia, but the rulings so far mean a lot less for patients in Georgia than those in other states. Because of Georgia's heartbeat law, abortion is illegal after about six weeks when the embryo is still developing and the heart sounds starts to quiver. So that means the abortion pill was already illegal here beyond that point. Georgia law also mandates that a doctor must do a reading to determine if the embryo's heart is beating. That cannot be done by mail. So patients here will have to go to a clinic to get the abortion pills.